Hello everyone, welcome back to the Flames of War Battle Report against Seb. So since Seb is a new player, I thought I'd try something a bit different and use a Cromwell Armoured Recce Company using the addition of the Challengers, which uh, is a feature in the new uh, compilation D-Day book. I'm up against Falshamega Galore, uh, which is going to be a challenge. We'll have a look at lists in a bit. Playing down Firestorm games again, and I thought I'd use a mission because Seb hasn't played a mission uh, with reserves yet in Flames of War, he, him and his friend have stuck with uh, Free For All, so it should be a bit of an experience for him. So here we have 100 points from the D-Day British book using the um, Cromwell Armoured Recce Squadron, uh, but using the new features we have got in the new compilation book. So we have a HQ of two Cromwell close support tanks and one Cromwell 75. We then have three troops now. We have three Cromwells and one Challenger each. So this is a nice addition to the uh, recce troops. As before, you could just have the three Cromwells and uh, you'd have to take a unit of M10s to uh, back them up. And now you can have the Challenger to keep up with them and to uh, provide that high anti-tank uh, that you require. We also have four Stuarts and two Crusader AAs, which is the only unit in this formation that doesn't have scout. And actually in the list, because we also have Daimlers, which have scout. So just remember these guys all have scout. So you can move into a good position, don't fire. So you keep going to ground, so quite handy. And we have a lucky card to round up the list. So highlight would obviously be the challenger. So as you can see, it has scout. So now the unit is 23 points. Uh, 17 points for three Cromwells, so for five points, uh, six points, um, you get your um, Challenger, yeah. So six points for a Challenger isn't too bad, and consider it's got Scout as well, is quite good. 23 points, quite expensive for a unit, but it does ease up um, things in terms of DD uh, British reserves, which I always find a bit of a struggle. It tends to be uh, two to three units always, uh, but basically uh, one troop and the HQ is bang on 40 points, and I do like that. So the Challenger itself. So uh, careful, confident, trained as a three plus remount, so that is pretty handy. Front armor six, uh, side four, top one. So that uh, makes it slightly better than M10, M10 front five and top zero. Now it's fast, so as a tactical 12, terrain is 16, cross country 24, road 28. 4 plus cross check does let it down a bit. It does have a 17 pound again, which is quite handy. Uh, and it only has 3 MG shots. So up to you guys, you might just want to run the recce without the challenges and then uh, squeeze in some M10. So 6, 12, 18 points. Uh, if we drop the challenges, that will get you 4 M10s but having a unit of four does strengthen the troops. So what do you guys think and how do you think it's going to do? So this definitely isn't a list I wouldn't normally take, but because uh, I do have a soft spot for the recce Cromwells, uh, I do want to try them out. So the list for today is Falshamega Galore. So we've got a, a Falshamega Stug Assault Gun Company, HQ of one and then two units of three. And then we have more Falshamega uh, in the form of company. So we have two um, seven stick platoons with Panzerfaust and uh, heavy machine guns, HQ as it comes with three pack 40s, and then we're doubling up on the Pumas with Vesps and a Panzer three OP. So no doubt the Stugs are going to be in reserve. And my reserves will be a unit of Cromwells and the HQ, because I'll be bang on 40. And then I'm just going to try and struggle with what I've got. <laughs> So the mission we are playing is Encounter, so I thought it would be a decent uh, introduction to reserves for Seb and to have his mindset building lists uh, with uh, having reserves in mind. Now his list I personally think would be very good on the defensive, uh, having some solid uh, Falschermeger units with pack 40s with uh, bang on 40 points to come in from reserve from the Stugs, uh, but Encounter would be handy for him as well because I'd also have reserves, so we'll be on an even playing field. But I will definitely not say I will not have any reserves until turn 5. I already know at this point when my reserves will come in, but historically my reserves are very slow to come on in all my games of Flames of War. 
Okay, so here is the table, so it's quite nice, uh, plenty of uh, short terrain, no um, hills this time, so those fields are actually going to be very useful for me. Uh, Seb did, did win the roll-off and picked uh, the top uh, half of the table, because he didn't want to move around the table, which, you know, fair enough, I can't be bothered to move around as well. Um, so we take it in turns to play and him going first, so it's tit for tat, um, but I was playing a game of cat and mouse wondering, if I could avoid the pack 40, so hopefully I could put some units after the pack 40s went down. So he started by bolstering his uh, objectives with uh, first platoon of Alshamegas, so and I put my AA guns down by my objective. He then put another platoon on another objective, so then I put my Daimlers on the right hand side, which you might not be able to see because they're quite camouflaged next to the hedge. Um, he then uh, put his OP, I think. I then dropped my Stuarts and spearheaded out on the left. Um, he then put some his own Pumas down in the middle. So then I put a unit of Cromwells uh, behind the field more central, hopefully having enough speed to get around to any side of the table that I'm going to make a push on. He then dropped his pack 40, so then that made my mind up, and I put my remaining Cromwells on the left flank and hopefully flank around towards the left and get rid of the infantry because the HQ is with the other platoon and I always try to attack an infantry platoon uh, where the HQ isn't. So his Stugs are in reserve and I have the HQ Cromwell and another unit of Cromwells. Okay, so if you're just getting started in Flames of War or looking to expand or collect a new army, I would definitely recommend Firestorm Games. There is a link in the description uh, if you're not doing Flames of War but are collecting your Bolt Action Team Yankee. They also have that there as well. They do have an excellent discount across their whole range. They're fast reliable and have excellent customer service. And by using my link, you'll help support me and the channel. I do recommend Firestorm Games, though I did order my 21st Panzer Division set with them, and it came uh, bang on the day that I wanted it to, and hopefully we'll see that on the table very soon. We're all deployed. All deployed. We're best luck, boys. Yeah, nice. Um, so, obviously, we got Seb and his tactical advisor. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry, you? That's right enough. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, so, the main thing is... Um, we want advice for Soviet lists. Yeah. So, yeah. Soviet list advice, put in the comments. I struggle because I don't play Soviets that much, but I say T-34s, more T-34s, and two bases of infantry. Not bases, platoons of infantry, and go for there. So, we need the roll to see who goes first. Two. Five. You're going first. Ah, happy with that, so there we go. Right, so we'll come back after German movement. Uh, at the moment, yeah. Okay, so Seb has um, shuffled his pumas over a little bit, um, and that is going to be for movement. So shooting wise, we're gonna obviously you can't fight if can't fight your artillery this turn because it's your your oh, first they, they, turn. They, they've got a moving. They'll be firing at a moving rate of fire, so they'll be three, each, yeah. one shot each. It's going to be whatever you shoot at is going to be long range. It has to be because. Well, I think logic one, well, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to go for these guys here right in front of me, and then we'll see where it goes next. So you have three shots. I'm hit on fours normally. Fours normally, yeah, long range. Fives for concealment, uh, sixes for um, long, range, long range, and seven for counterground. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Nothing there today. Uh, the Pumas, if you didn't, well, obviously you lose your gun to ground. They haven't moved, they can shoot. It, it'd be one shot because mm -hmm. they technically have moved. Line, they? So what's okay. My front armor is six will go to Pumas? seven for range. These ones, you'd only have one shot of them. Um, they are front armor three, these guys. They're concealed among them, so they can apply the effects of the You do know you can put the cards in the. I he, yeah, it'd probably be best because you, you don't want to lose your gun on the ground too early. No, too early. I think I'll load the down and see what happens. So play it safe for the surround and see what happens when I take the next. Oh, that's a nice that's, quick that's, turn. That's good. Good question. movement, I've cross country dashed everything around here. These guys have gone over there. I am in short range. Uh, well, at least one gun won't actually be able to fire at me because of the angle. Um, I did try to do a follow me into there, but not. But hopefully, these guys can stick around that a little bit longer as we go into German turn. Two, so no reserves, we'll come back after German movement. Bear in mind, they are Pumas there, so they may come out to play, or may not. German movement. 
Uh, this puma has moved over to here to get out of the way for the pack 40s who have moved just so they can shoot down onto here. I will still get, I will still get concealment. But the pumas, Brave Seb has come over because they're probably going to die anyway. Brave Seb. But, um, but the good thing is we have more shooting this turn. So um, where would you like to start? Uh, we'll start here against the Connors. Okay, so you got two shots. Uh, my gone to ground means nothing because I have no concealment. So you hit me on fours. On fours? Oh. Two hits. Ooh, hits. So uh, allocation wise, anything in particular you want to go for? Because obviously there's a so challenge. Oh, challenge. Oh, what's the challenge? Six, isn't it? Uh, still a six. Oh, we'll go for the challenge. Okay. I'll, try and 14 on him. I'll try and swap it off a challenger. Of course. Which I do, so it's going go further down. back. For, for uh, Phil's yeah. back guy. Yeah. yeah, I think I'll do me, but I do feel like I've wasted a six there. So uh, my front armor is six. I only need a three to equal. So the guy at the front. Yep, and the guy at the back. Yeah. Boing, bang, boing, boing. Okay, artillery. Uh, he's going to try land and it on that guy there. Okay, yeah, so we'll get the template out and we'll come back. First attempt, ranged in, uh, hit, 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 um, bypass my saves, which is a miracle. Uh, and then we have three. Packs, range-wise, ooh, we are we are long range. Yeah. So we um, fours plus fives. Four, five, six, seven, because I'm still gone to ground. Sixes. What was the chance? Fives. No. Oh no, almost there. See, normally that would I would have been hit because I because I've got my um, scout move, which saving me for now and that's it so turn two um no remounts and i'm gonna crack on my movement british movement these guys have done a tactical move over here because i can potentially pop off a um puma stewart's have moved over to engage the infantry but it's going to be a few turns before that becomes good and i've moved one um Cromwell over, so all my Cromwells can shoot in collectively. I've gained an extra shot because one of them was blocked. So we're going to start off with firing here. So one Cromwell is long range, concealed and gone to ground shot. So it'll be a seven, like like you were doing. And I got a six. No. And then I got two Cromwells then that are just hitting you on fives because there's no concealment but range. Uh, I get two hits. And then the Challenger... Uh, misses so your front armor will go to four so you'll need sixes to equal uh, two, yeah? two die yeah two hits on you no one equal so one chance to kill you you're dead i lost our puma yeah one puma gone um the stewards are going to so they're not gone to ground anymore these aren't going to be gone to ground because I'm going to MGU. So I'm hitting you on sixes because you can see they've gone ground. So they're five shots each. So first one, guess one. Second one, nope. And this is, yeah, you're saying don't re roll those bad dice. Uh, one more, and then the final. Yeah. Yeah, it's still sixes. Uh, yeah, so only two hits. Um, so I don't want it on the heavy machine gun, but you can swap it onto. You want us to try to swap it in there? Yeah. Nope. So, so anyway. they're just the two closest ones. And uh, so these two will get some DC, yeah? Uh, yeah. So not the MG. Not the MG. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Free up him. Nope. No, and it's here. All yeah. oh, right. I kill one. Well, that doesn't normally happen. All right, and then. Sir, you're right. Hey, Sean, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well roll all of these since you can't stop the armor anyway. So two haven't moved. Uh, two each. Uh, but there's, there's no save. So first one dead, second one dead. Sorry, I am sorry. I don't, I don't know, I just feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. Um, right, but we may have, we may have reserves. Yes, yeah, beautifully painted. So um, you have a last stand to do on your, your Puma. Roll it, I can't remember what it is. It's five. Is it? Yeah, it's not. Oh, he makes it. Um, 
Yeah. One dice to reserves. Yes. Yes, but what's one, it going to be and where? Five. Well, that's a little bit wrong, and it's sixty. It's sixteen inches from that corner. So you could you could end up being behind me if you wanted to. Okay, so the puma has passed his last stand. He's going to stay there for a little bit. The stugs are using the husks of the previous puma unit for cover for next turn, which is quite good. And the pack forties do have two shot. Well, two guns that can fire down here, long range, concealed. But I thought the trees might be better, but they're not. Okay. Okay, uh, where are we going to st start with your shooting? We'll start with the elephant in the room. Three shots on fours. Oh, oh, miss. oh. oh dear. Uh, you still got that template there if you want to rearrange in that. It's just still got the two Cromwells and a Challenger under there. That's probably the first proof course for action, so I think we'll go for that. So we're going to roll the hits for now. We're going to be with Barman, so it should just be like. It's just fours, just yes. Yep. Yep. And this one here. Yep. This one. There we go. And this one here, is it? Yep. So Cromwell, uh, Challenger. No. These are these are very nice. I think the lowest I've rolled is a three so far. Now it's for a follow me. Well, I've uh, done fine. Uh, there'll be four shots on sixes. Um, no, so only he because oh, yeah, it's any point on the base. Yeah, he, that that will. Yeah, I I I did check it and I think you should be able to get it. I yeah, well, definitely. Oh, cool. So I always think it's for the gun, but it's actually it's the base itself. For the gun with the tank, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I'll double check. Everyone, stop screaming. No, I, I looked at the rules. So he can't shoot there, but he's going to shoot at the Crusaders, so it'll be seven as they still on the ground. No. Nope. Oh. Well, you're saving the good dice. I'm saving so the good dice. It'll be sixes down onto here. Oh, Ooh, we got one. Um, preference, but I don't oh, think he can one. even see the challenge. I think the Cromwell they want it. I think. The Cromwell CD. No, he, I think he can. Oh, so I'll try and swap it. I do. So I'll put it there. So my front armor will be seven. I'll go through. Okay, so three up. Three up to kill. Kill. We kill one. Yeah. Yeah. I think I should shoot it. Um. I'll give you I'll give you some flames to put on yours now. Um, so the only thing I got to do for my startup step is where I get reserves. No, I told you I'm not getting reserves until tail five. <laughs> it never happens. Okay, so British movement. These guys did a terrain dash and a follow me, as you can guess whether I passed or not. Uh, these guys have tactically moved around trying to get away from the pack forties, and one Cromwell here has moved um, so he can shoot. So it's going to again. Everyone's going to be firing again. It's plus one because of the concealment. But I'd rather have the full weight of fire. Although the stugs would have to move. Okay, so done that. They had enough move. They got a tactical of twelve. The, the, the challenger didn't have enough movement, but he's he's all right to to do do that. Um, right. So. I'm going to start off with the Stuart. So one of them is going to MG. The rest of them are going to main gun it into your false Amiga. So this is the MG. Doesn't get anything. And then this is the main gun. Uh, uh, one hit. Uh, I don't want it on a... Uh, you can swap onto a machine gun if you want, you might as well because the machine gun isn't really going to do much for you. You do, got a save, yeah. um, Then my Cromwell's here, the Challenger is just going to have a pop shot at your OP and the Cromwell's are going to MG your infantry. So OP is missed and first Cromwell no, second Cromwell gets one hit. Again, not the MG, but you can swap it onto him. Nope. It's okay. Uh, and then the three Cromwells onto the Stugs. Uh, I get one hit. Um, I double check, and then the Challenger also gets a hit. So I know that. 
So threes to kill. Uh, killing a bale. What is your remount? The fearless. Don't know whether they're lucky or not. Nah, I'll leave it like that. In turn. Four, you've got a remount. Remount trigger. Three yeah. 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 Fantastic. I've got a seat. Last man trying to take there. Five plus. Nope. So you drive away. And two dice for reserves. Yeah, one. So the final unit. So basically a one and a two you don't want. Oh, right. So yeah, you can swamp me down by here. So Anywhere along the back edge, basically. It's along here, basically, isn't it? Yeah, well, you, you can bring them all the way to here. Really? So it's the whole back edge. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's, it's the whole back edge. Okay, so the pack 40s, two have gone this direction to cover this flank, and then one to cover the marauding Daimlers. And we have the Stugs coming on. One Stug staying put because obviously he's got uh, two shots he can pump into the Challenger, and then one has moved. Okay. So where are we going to start your shooting? Let's see if we're ranging here first. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, uh, so far ranging in, uh, one guy bailed out. These guys have fired onto the Stuarts and the Cromwell's missed, and then you got one shot over to there. So it depends on the range, because I'm still gone to ground. Uh, it's will be a six, because he's short. Okay, now the elephant room. To try to get okay, um, one shot, one shot. Uh, do the two shots from him because they have to go on the challenger. Two shots and him, hitting me on our Two hits, out. And then the other guy can go on to any of the other Cromwells. So, 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 so you got the one, uh, two have to go on him. But you got one more shot there. Oh, uh, just what, yeah, one more. And hit, so that will go on to one of the Cromwells. Okay. Right, so um, the Cromwell um, would be a five to equal. Bounce, oh my god. And then the Challenger um, is also fives to equal. So first one equals, second one so, if you double bail me, I have to do a remount. So, five, uh, three ounce. Yeah. So, I have to do a three plus remount. He's okay, he's just bailed. Right, I didn't think that would happen. Okay, now. So, you still get the phenomenon that you're handling, so far. Okay, three shots at him. Yeah, into the. Yeah, see. So you're close enough that I can't fob it off the Cromwells, so it's all going to be butt shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, I can equal on the six. Front. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I thought you were 80 10. I'm front. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm four, so five powers. Oh, really? Okay. Sorry. Okay, right. Three fire powers as they lie. So, first one, no. Second one, no. Oh, dear. Right, you killed one. That is it. That, that is it. Right. Um, well, I've got plenty of motivations to do now. So the Stuart, does he get back in? Uh, they're only confident, uh, but that's enough. Uh, so he goes back in. I have... Just been talking stuff. It wasn't recording the whole time. I'm sure the comments will tell us. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure... No, I, 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 I couldn't even hear you. So two on it now. Right, uh, two Cromwells. Uh, one gets back in, and a Challenger gets back in, so they don't have to last stand. Hooray! Um, two dice for reserves. One bail. Yes, there's two active. Um, no reserves. No reserves. Nope. I told you I don't get them in turn two and five. Well, I won't. Movement. Crusaders are moved, these guys are moved, because these guys are on bulletproof cover, so it depends on how I hit them. If I hit these guys with them and these guys with them, no bulletproof, so I'll take that. These Cromwells haven't moved, so they can shoot at the Stugs. The Stuarts have moved, so they could shoot at the Stugs if they want to. But I'm going to start off 
firing what's left of this Cromwell unit. So uh, if you can angle my, not angle, just move the turret to face that stug. So I believe he will, I think he could probably put it on both because they are in the front arc. Okay. Um, so you'll fire, so will be hitting on fours. Uh, get both, and then I also got the other Cromwell firing at you as well. Beyond fives, I miss, but this is 18 14. So, um, that Stug is bailed again, and the other one is dead. I'll give you some more smoke. Okay, so I'm rolling this guy separate because he's short range on the closest stug, but long range on the others. So he gets one hit, but we'll mind him for later. The other Cromwell gets one hit, and the challenger gets no hits. So, um, try and swap it back then. So it gives you a chance to save it. Uh, it does. So you need a six to save that. Nope. And the other one goes through anyway, because you're side three. So the closest guy and the middle guy are uh, dead in a bail. The middle guy's bail guy, yeah? Yeah. And I'm dead. So I think the stewards are going to have to pump into them as well. Um, so they'll be hitting you on fives because they're slow firing. I miss. Oh, I wouldn't hit anything with them anyway. Okay, now these do have open sights. Um, so I'll be hitting you on fours. Yes. Uh, but I have two shots each. So it's a hit on everyone. So, um, so this guy has bulletproof. It is three up save. So the most important ones is him and him because they can die straight up. Okay, so three up him. He's okay. It's okay, and then that guy who will have a have a save. He's okay. And then the dingoes and Daimler. Yeah. But these are going to be hitting you on fives because there's concealment. Okay, so you're pinned. I'm allocating it to those two, but you can swap one onto him to give you bulletproof. I'll try to swap one then to make sure. Yep. I'll swap in, so bring up him. It's fine, and one on exit. Yep. It's okay. So but pinned at least. Pinned at least. And these are not gone to ground anymore. Right. That uh, eventful. So I'm going to shoot and scoop my Cromwell unit there, which I don't. Follow me and shoot and scoots I can't do, but mostly everything else I can. Okay, right, so German turn, five. So, remounts. Can remounts? Yep. No. And then a three up with the stone. Uh, remounts and pins. Yep, they're good. And then pinned. Okay, yep. Fine. Oh yeah, they're fearless, aren't they? And then you've got a last stand on them. No, he's on a he just dies. You're, oh, leave him there, he's a, he's a wreck. It, it might not make any difference. And your HQ will be coming on, but where? Oh, this, this corner. This corner again. That's a problem on that. Oh, you, I would really, if you can, try and get him with those stugs over there just for rerolls. Or, or because you you put him in the line of fire of my stuff, or you just try and get rid of them. Okay, but we'll come back after. So the HQ's popped over here to uh, get rid of the challenger, and these guys are still looking down there. Uh, these guys, God, I've never seen Pack 40 move around so much. Um, we got two aiming down here, and also it's good because their front arc is looking at them. So, shoot him, where are we starting? Uh, what's up, Chantress? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one shot on him, so I'll be hitting all fours. On a four? That's it. Um, one, two, three, turret. Four, five, six, the hull. This is turret. So, uh, five will equal in front armor, six. Uh, equals. Free up. He's bailed out. He's bailed. So check that on him. And you got four shots. Get rid of these guys. I think you, you should. You should do it. You should do it. Okay. Is he all four? Yeah. 
One, one hit. hit. I'm guessing you're on the active one. Active one, yes, please. Um, sure. I can't stop it, so it's a straight up firepower. Free up. Yeah. Yeah. Right, what next? What next? Uh, yep, so that'll be on a five because it's short range. Nope. No, and then on fours. One hit. One hit. Uh, <laughs> just go straight through. Uh, these are probably gonna run away. So Vesta just ranged in by here, so uh, force to hit. Hit. Challenger. Yep. And Cromwell also. Awesome. Right, first Cromwell, Challenger, other guy. Yeah, so far I've been okay. Um, do you want to do a shoot and scoot with them just so you could be front armour on my stuff? Can you shoot and scoot? Because you didn't move. I didn't move. You didn't move. Yeah, probably, yeah. And they are veteran aren't they yeah so it's just because obviously it's a gamble because whether they get back in or not but you should be okay yeah so just they get a four inch move and then they also got the cover of their dead friend god you're killing my tank first of all i need to get my tanks back in so the cromwell up there yes the challenger yes right um and i have three dice for reserves Hey, so the the Cromwell unit um, is this side, and the um, HQ is that side. Uh, the opposite side of where I wanted them, but I'll have to do my best. Last stand. I don't know why I'm checking it for five. Yeah, five's good. Let me see. Movement. He who is not running away is going to stay there because he can have a clear shot back. Although none of them are uh, in bullet. They're all in bulletproof cover. These guys. It's going to be a mix. These guys are cross country dashed on. These guys have gone behind them. Hooray! And I'm going for banking on everything, trying to get rid of the Stug HQ because if I kill him, I kill them, and then it's timing it's all about time so we'll come back and see the shooting phase we ready for the shooting right that's right i'm gonna start with the stewards into these because all of them are side uh, in your side so no bulletproof so the first guy they hit me on five so um so i got one with the first one and then the next guy i guess one more Stuart number three. Yes, one more. And oh, 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 we got one more left. Oh, everyone got one hit. So I'm going to double up on him. You can swap that order around. No bulletproof cover. Okay, so two on him then. Dead. One's dead. So he's dead. And then one, the other one. Fine. And the other one. Dead. So two died. Right. So a guarantee was him. And who was the other one who died? Okay. Right, that's easier for the Daimlers. So one of them will get you'll get no concealment because he's up to the hedge. Uh, that's uh, lots of hits. And then the other guy get lots more hits. So you've got that many seven three up saves. Okay, that's fine. Do it, do it. <laughs> I'll 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 call this a win for you if you do this. Oh, wow. Watch, I, I, and if you do it, I'll actually I'll just change my mind. Right. <laughs> you, you know, you're not going to do it one at a time, but no, oh, uh, he, he, he died a lot. He died a lot. But there you go. Right. So now let's let's hopefully get rid of this um, stuck HQ. So I'm going to roll all three dice because you won't get a save against any of them. I get one hit. He's dead. Right, so no, don't remove the studs just yet because obviously they can potentially contribute. Uh, so he's just gonna MG them. Oh no, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just MG them. It's one hit. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably be on the MG team because well, he's probably the only one I can see. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Turn. Well, there's no need to count track a turn because all the reserves are on. You're fine. All, all done now, yeah? I believe so. Um, so, 
Formation's gone. First of all, things first. Um, formation's gone. Yeah, formation's gone. So they're gone out of the way. So I've still got one formation left. That's fine. So that's okay. Movement. This is all on. Right, so new movement from the infantry. The Stugs are direct firing into the Daimlers. Oh, not Stugs, uh, the Vasps. Three shots. One hit. Uh, who do you want it on? I'm going to try and swap it onto the Dingo. He does. Uh, no save. Oh dear. And that's it. Alright, does, does he get back in? He does, I think. Suppose I haven't been hit yet. Yeah, he gets back in and then he needs to pass the last stand. Um, he's confident. Just hasn't got a very good counter attack. So we'll back into a British movement. Okay, so these guys have tactically moved to engage the Vesps. These are stayed put. These guys are uh, terrain dashed with a follow me. Just try and keep them in the game a little bit. Uh, and these guys are merging. They're verging onto this. Unfortunately, false Omegas, the worst ones I can really try to assault, but that is it. So. Um, let's start off with these guys. So two of them are long range, concealed on your Vesps. I roll them together because you front armor one or something. So these ones are sixes. I get no hits. And then the other two are on fives. No. Okay, and then I got four shots from the Daimlers. Uh, they are going to be hitting you on fives. I get two hits, so it's 87, so six is all equal. So two, eh? Yep, two. Ooh, that's a high five plan. Ooh, now they go through. Uh, kill one, bail one. Ooh, bail one. Uh, you need some more smoke. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I bought a second pack. Okay, and then the Crusader AA is going to open up on you, also needing fives. I get two more hits. So the anti-tank five, though. So the bailed guy, uh, so you need fours to equal, don't you? Yeah. So the bailed out one? No. no. And the other guy? So that goes through. So the bailed out guy is double bailed, so you need to do a remount. Nice. Okay, right. I knew I should have put the Stuarts there now. So, the Stuarts are going to MG your infantry. So, first five, no. Second five, no. Third five, get one hit. And, and one more to come. Uh, so, two in total. Uh, so, one more. No. So, so, Challenger's going to MG you, yeah. Cromwell's going to main gun it. Uh, so, two hits from the Challenger and the Cromwell's get no hits. So, two more saves, please. Mm. Nope. And then I'm going to MG again with the other Cromwell, uh, with the Challenger, and then main gun it with the other Cromwell. So, uh, MGs get a hit that pins you and the other one gets a hit with a main gun so machine gun save first <laughs> and a main and a main gun save yeah. okay. right. but you're pinned and I'm going to try and shoot and scoot the Daimlers which I don't I can't do it okay German turn a lot now um, ra uh, remount your uh, vest sorry are you trying to eat your food no, no. Uh, oh, no. He's not and then rally oh, yeah okay I know um so that would have rallied them and then roll for your last stand we won't count that one okay, okay. So, so there's one active one bailed and they're unpinned that's gonna have to stop so <laughs> that's gonna have to stop Okay, so <laughs> these false should be good, not having a good time. Um, so um, I guess you're not going to move. 
No. Are you going to just... Uh, well, what do you want to shoot at? Do you want to shoot at the, Crom- the, the Crusader or try and get... Uh, I'm going to bully the Crusader. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there will be concealment, so it'll be a five. You didn't have a copy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. I can equal on a six. No. Goes through. Four was destroyed. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, I was it wasn't ready yet. Yeah, I can I moved two guys so they're all in short range of the Vesps now, although he can only hit that one Vesp. Uh, HQ unit has moved forward tactically, um, so they can pop some shots, start to pop some shots, but next turn they're going to be much more needed. So let's start off with the Vesp. So one guy who can only hit one misses, and then the other three can hit everyone, get one more hit. I don't want it on the bailed out guys, but you can swap it. Oh, you, do you want to swap it off? Because I, I, I don't. He's on the active one. I've got it. Yeah. I did goes through. Uh, he's double bailed, so three man. He's dead. I, I don't like leaving anything to chance. So the Daimlers are going to open up. Uh, one hit. So a six will equal. Nope. Uh, the demon do the job. Do the job. Yeah. Uh, then. Is that one They're all dead. Oh. Okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> right. The Stuarts are going to main gun it into the. Um, Fosh Omega. Uh, I get four hits. Um, I want it all on rifle teams. Yeah. Uh, one dies. Uh, this unit of Cromwells, uh, the Cromwells are going to main gun it, the Challenger will MG it. So uh, Cromwells get one hit and Challenger gets nothing, so again this is a main gun. Yeah. He's good. Okay, I'll be back after my food. Finally, the last Cromwell is going to main gun it and the challenge will MG. So, no, and no, and then these two are going to main gun it, but they are slow firing. No. Uh, and that's it, but they're pinned. So, we'll, we'll come back into the next gym turn after we've fueled up on food. So your turn, Seb, rally your Falsh Oh yes, yeah, let's have a look. No, right, that is excellent for me. That is excellent for you. Uh, everything else? Yeah, everything else is dead. <laughs> right, uh, are you going to shoot anything? You could shoot your Faust, but like it would give you, lose your go on the ground. On that guy, just that guy, but I just target him. I think I'll wait for this all. I think I'll wait for this all. Okay. All right, so they're yeah, still pinned, uh, and we go to British turn. I have no motivation, so we will continue. Now I have to probably leave some guys back here because in case you try to sneak past me. Movement is pretty. Ex- they, these are moved around. These are just guarding that objective. So um, I am going to start here. Um, we'll just recap it because it's not going to be that significant, I don't think. With all that, uh, I got one hit with the Daimler onto the HQ. He swapped it and he saved. Yeah, excellent. Right. Stuarts are going to main gun it into your false humor again. I got one hit. Um, but just guy, a guy further back. Yeah. Fine, that is fine. Okay, and then this unit, main guns, and then challenger machine gun. Uh, get one hit with a machine gun so far, and main guns, one more hit. So an MG hit first, and then a main gun. Main gun gets a kill. You're getting there. You're getting there. You're and getting then there. <clears throat> three shots, uh, Challenger, main gun, Cromwell. No, and then Cromwell, get one hit up with the Cromwell. It's okay. And then over here, main gun, but everyone's main gun, but the CS's need sevens. So Cromwell, CS's, no. Does the CS's have two shots stationary is what I want to know. They do not. <coughs> so, your formalities of your... Oh, all right. Like, I don't think if I even assaulted you with the Stuarts, mm-hmm. I can even push you further enough away. But... 
way of the whole then. I'll have a, a see. Oh no, I, I fired my full rate of fire, I can't. No, I can't. So, yeah, next, next turn, again next turn yeah. Fire. Okay, so do they rally? No. Oh, they don't. They really, they really don't want to get... They don't want to get... Well, I'm going to say quite... I'm, I'm going to be seven. Okay. Yeah. And over here, there's a little bit of head moving, so... Okay. Right, bri then. bridge turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've done that. Um, so, we're going to shoot over there, and then come back to here. Nothing again over here. So, Stuarts, you are going to main gun it, and try and kill one more person. Uh, we got hit. I'll have someone back there. Oh, you can pass the save anyway. Okay, and then that unit up there, uh, main guns, Cromwell, and then Challenger, MG. So one more save. Okay. And then over here, we'll have three um, main gun shots from the Cromwells. I'll include the HQ because the CSs will fire. And then three shots from Challenger. So main guns, no, and then machine guns, uh, two hits. I need sixes though. Nope. And then the CSs. Ah, they're the ones I needed to hit. Alright, we're gonna go in for the assault and we're gonna see what happens. So, so far, this is the initial wave in. He missed with the Faust. Uh, I killed the machine gun and I killed one base. You got the counter attack. Three. Oh. I move him away six inches. You do have another turn because I don't think I was in four at the start of my turn. So you've got another turn to, to somehow. Within four, but I didn't even check. So I, I, I don't think I was because you were you were like spread around it. I was like here, but he killed some of my guys. You guys were here. But it wasn't the start of my turn. Okay, so you get the rally then. If you fail the rally, it's game anyway. Right, so they can do something. Go back on here. <laughs> I have to shoot you off then. Shoot me off again. We just keep coming back. Yep. And yeah. Right. Well, my turn is going to be that. So let's start with this. Let's start with. Actually, can you move my Cromwells over there because you'll have bulletproof cover from that wreck. Which I, oh, a little bit, a little bit further back. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll be fine. Excellent. Yeah, that'll do for me. Right. I didn't drop either. Yeah, excellent. That was the first. Okay, so Stuart's first. So first Stuart uh, gets four, uh, three hits. And we've still got Stuart's to go. So second Stuart gets one more. Third Stuart gets two more. And then I got one last Stuart. Two. So we have one guy will have, two guys will have three, and one guy will have two. I feel like I just just assault him, just just for the, just for the, for the I'm not. Um, so <laughs> I know, I, I know. Look, our industry is pumping out bullets and shells, and we're going to use them against you. Okay, so that unit up there, yeah. Uh, I get three hits on him. Didn't know you were doing the counter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> that, that would be it. That would be it. I'm sorry. Do you want to apologise? <laughs> you should. The, the, your dice should apologise more than anything. Well, the stugs are supposed to fight. If I manage to sort of thing out here, they can do the run here and sort things out. Really, I should have lost. Them too. They should be dead. Yeah. They, if, they, if they were dead, then they could pass go around here and then gain support. So it wouldn't be as easy. It, 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 well, basically, I had that no. troop here. Now, maybe you could have got your HQ, but really, those guys should have been dead before your HQ even turned up anyway. Yeah, because you have like three troops here, two still have three here turning up. So really, ideally, statistically, they could have more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, no, I mean, pack guns, I think the pack guns would be better off over here. I think, off. Um, I think it's the back of me in the centre. Yeah. Because here, from here, they can see the more either way. I, I think, um, I don't know if I'll remember it by the time I do the video, because I do an overhead for deployment. Yeah, you 
didn't put the pack 40s last I still had a Cromwell unit to deploy when you deploy the pack so basically I I deployed a unit there and you kind of like went for it by going there so then I got a load I got the load it there to come around um, and to be honest you had the luck to actually get the stuff there it's just they just didn't want to didn't kill want to everything I don't, considering you had um, seven stokes you, you killed and two and that's the reason why I've lost all, my, all the games I do and I know this is because I've always been I, so basically, I think if the pack forties had gone there to help defend Alagag, because I, I don't think I would have gone for them because the HQ's there, because it's the reroll thing. Yeah, maybe even in the woods, although they limited where they can shoot. I think the biggest thing as well is because you move them all the time; they were never dug in. Yeah. And that's yeah. very really I can actually I think that's the was the point of here, I mean better. Yeah. It's it's yes yeah, it was it is a bit tricky, but I think if you were to play defensive with this list, you at least get to ambush them and they may have done better. Yeah. But I think the biggest thing that helped me early game is the fact that I had scout. Because yeah. you couldn't hit me. Yeah. But alright, so MVPs. Ah. Um, well. Well, well, well. Um, well, I have to pick yours. Uh, <laughs> I, right, annoyingly, because the. Oh, no, I can't give it to them, because they just sat there and then run away. And then, and then decided to come back and then die. Um, probably. Um, whoever out of these Stugs killed two Cromwells because you came very close to killing them all because at one point everyone was either dead or bailed yeah. but the three plus remount is so big it gets them back in uh, which, which yeah. yeah but um, yeah I had, get, I had to get the fact that they actually killed them in the first place that's why I needed yeah. um, so I don't know who did it um, it was probably the original stuff that, that came on. I think the one that came on originally did it. And I, a couple here managed to kill one and bail out one. So I think a couple here on this side did, did more damage. And a couple on the two here <coughs> did a bail out. I think the ones here that did most of it. Yeah, let's give those ones because they the technically ones, are yeah. still alive. Yeah. They the drove ones, away. Yeah, the ones here, I think they're the ones that did more damage. Okay. The other ones potentially did a bail out, but that's it. And you have to pick my MVP. I think it I I know who I would pick personally. Personally, I think it was this corner, the challenger. Yes, yeah, so, so those two. Yeah. They yeah, shouldn't be alive. They shouldn't be alive. I mean, four shots here, multiple shots here. They should be dead. For yeah. All that, all that so for me, it's those two. Yeah, and I left them to kill that last infantry unit too. Cowardly. My, my, my. <laughs> oh, it, it, it was very cowardly. You d- you, you don't, don't deserve those eight VP. <laughs> you don't deserve it. it I'm it, sporting mine. <laughs> is it you give this score in? He got an eight one, but he didn't deserve <laughs> it. He's very cowardly eight <laughs> one. Cowardly. But this is how in, you wage an industrial war. Oh, exactly. 